Today I'm going to paint some cone flowers, some white cone flower, rutabecchia, I believe they call it. And these have brilliant orange centers. So we're going to put in the bright colors first. And there's one over here and here and here. And I will uh, put some shadows into some of the shaded petals, allowing some of the orange color of the flower center to bleed into that. That's just part of the mix. That's what makes them so interesting. Really sort of bleeding out of control here. And there's nothing wrong with trying to dry it up if you've made a mistake. <clears throat> the light direction is coming from this direct direction. So the petals on this side of the flower will be shaded. It's very important to work wet, I believe. Uh, then things are easier to correct if you are needing to correct them. Because while it's wet, the paint is easier, easy to remove. And I'm just going to paint the whole, this whole flower here. Because that will bleed into the background because that's all in shadow. And so is this one really. Now that I have that established, uh, my next thing is to tackle the background while these things are getting dry. And because purple goes so well with orange, I am mixing up a rich purple color with cobalt blue hue and opera. And I will carefully, this time I don't think I want it to bleed into the flower just yet. And I can always come back and create the little spikes. But I can't do it yet because the orange is still quite wet. but I can create um, quite a contrast here. This brush is well, about worn out. You have to be careful of your brushes. This one I have used and used and used and it's beginning to fail me. Um, I can still lay in some paint, but I think I'm going to switch brushes just because. I think I need to do that. There's nothing like the good old standby squirrel mop, which holds lots of pigment and lots of water. And I can lay that in quickly and a lot more effectively. And you see the, the wash is quite wet. This, is, this little area here is going to be a bud, so I should have painted that in too because um, it's going to be a bright yellow green, and I won't be able to paint that over the, the purple. And there's 
going to be a bright green leaf there. So I'm going to leave that one also. shapes beginning to form. Uh, I don't want them to bleed t together quite yet. This is I'm trying to do this without stopping the camera. say, oh, when I quit, when I stop talking, that I switch brains, and that's about the, that's about the gist of it. I'm lucky that I can talk while I paint, but once in a while I do clam up a bit. Thank you. 